My name is Olivia Hope. I'm a children's writer, and I love writing stories that have lots of pictures in them, and I'm really, really interested in writing stories about nature, about brave children, or children who have big adventures. And I also work in Seam Shatira. Does anybody know where Seam Shatira is in Trinidad? Yeah, near the park. Do you know that building beside the park in Seam Shatira? Yeah? That building there is a fantastic place because it's full of people who sing songs, who act on the stage, people who dance. And one of the things that we're doing in there is we are working on stories. And stories are really important because there's a type of story called a folklore. And a folklore is a story that belongs to people who live in a place. So there might be stories that only happen in Killeen. I come from Killarney, and there are stories and legends that are tied to Killarney. And there's lots of folklore as well across Ireland about legends about the Fianna, about Finn McCool. Have you heard about Finn McCool? Have you heard about Coo Cullen? All these brave people. And a lot of the legends and a lot of the story ideas are tied to things that you know. So they might be tied to mountains. Or in the lakes of Killarney, they said that was where Oshin met Neve, and then he went away to Tirnano. So what we are going to do is we're going to have a little thing about the stories that we can make happen, which here in Tralee today. Now, has anybody ever heard of a banshee? Gosh, Has anybody ever heard of a puka? So these are very... And uh, have you ever heard of fairies or she's? Yeah. You have heard of fairies and she. There are certain magical creatures that are tied to Irish folklore. And we're going to think about one of the magical creatures. And this magical creature is called a puka. Now, pukas, they can be really cheeky and really naughty. Or, or they can be really helpful. Has anybody, uh, have you heard something about a puka? I think I know what it is. Tell me what you think of a puka. It's like a ghost. It's a little bit like a ghost. Yes, it's a magical creature. So it can disappear and it can appear. But usually with a puka, a puka is an Irish animal. So you think of any animal that is native to Ireland. So you could think of horses, you could think of foxes, you could think of uh Badgers, you can think of any other type of Irish animal you can imagine, and this animal can talk to you. And this animal, when you meet him, you're not sure if he's there to help you or bring you on a little bit of a crazy adventure. All right? So, if you close your eyes a second, I want you to think of an animal that you like from Ireland. Maybe your favorite Irish animal is a deer. Maybe it's a stag. Maybe your favorite Irish animal is an Irish wolfhound. That would be a good animal to think of. Yeah. I want you to imagine that animal can talk to you. Okay? Now, this animal is going to bring you on an adventure, but we're not sure what type of adventure it's going to be yet. Is he going to get you in trouble? Or is he going to help you do something magical? Now, it doesn't look like we have any special place that a puka could appear from. And in lots of stories, when something magical appears, they usually come through a magic portal. So a magic portal is usually a doorway to something different, to another world. And maybe you've read other stories where... The, there has been a magic portal. So maybe you have read, let me see, has anybody read His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman? There's a really, really magical knife that can cut through thin air. And when you pull the air open, you can step through to another world. Maybe you've read Harry Potter. Is there any magical places or doorways you can step through in Harry Potter? Any magical walls? Yeah, can you think of something? If you want to get on the train to Hogwarts, what do you have to do? Can you just step on a train? 
Anybody remember the magical wall? Like the wall that had like a little Yes, you have to go to a magical wall. Can you can even with a trolley. Exactly, that's a magical portal. One minute, there's nothing there. You go through the wall, ta da, there is a magical tray. Can you think of one? Yes. Actually, have a think about it. If any of you play computer games as well, there's magical portals in a lot of stories where you've got a door and you go through it to another realm. So that's quite um, exciting too. We are going to make our magical portal, and our magical portal is going to be here. We're going to make it on the path, and we're going to use the materials we have around us. So, to make our magical portal, you are going to use your fingers and your eyes, and what we're going to do is we are going to start picking leaves, maybe twigs, maybe flowers, maybe pebbles, and then we're going to make them into a circle, and that is going to be our magical portal. Um, you can also go down and get some of the pebbles down there if you want, and I'll help you um, make a magical portal then. Okay? Yes, it's just from like one thing. Bro, we need yellow. I hate Use your own. Oh, we don't have Oh, I love the rays coming out of it. Is that what the song So tell me, first of all, about your um, magic portal. So pretty much, um, if you step on it, the eye blinks and then you fall into a different room. It does look like a blinking eye, doesn't it? Like it's watching you. That's and it's covered up so it's Why you just walk on your nose? So you mightn't even know it's there until it opens. Oh, that's a great idea. I love that idea. So, if your poop is going to be an Irish animal, what Irish animal is it? A rabbit. What type of voice does he have? Oh, a deep voice. You decide. Do you decide to go into the magic portal, or have you been tricked by the puka to go in? He makes it. He makes it. That's a great idea. So tell me about your magic portal. What type of ideas have you gotten us? That's a uh, puka. That's your puka picking yeah. out. I love it. That's a dove. You put rocks and flowers around it. We went in here and then I just found that side. This is over here. Then we just put flowers on. Yeah. So what happens do you think if you go in? to this um, doorway, what will happen? Will it disappear after you go in? No. No? What do you think it looks like on the other side? Um, the exact same. The exact same? Yeah. And is your pooper friendly? Or yeah. is he going to be a bit cheeky and get you in trouble? Cheeky, yeah. He's cheeky. cheeky? Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> so what type of animal do you think your pooper is going to be? Dog. Yours is a dog. What colour? Uh, blue. Blue. Ooh, yeah. I love that. A cat. A cat? What color is your puka? Hmm. Okay. 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 What color is your What other animal is your puka? Oh my god. Oh my god. So tell me about your magic portal. So like, um, I got like, this is um, where I eat it. And then he was like walking with them. Yes. Yeah. And then um, they found this big circle thing. Yes. So the puka was too uh, fast. So it just went in. Yes. And then um, he was like, because uh, the puka was uh, his friend. His friend. And then um, so he went for him. Oh. And then he found a house there. So there is. So he jumped into the magical yeah. portal. Yeah. And then he found that house. This jump portal. So tell me, um, if I was walking in the woods, would I find the portal? No. You need to have a puka, do you? No. No. Well, you could. Open it. You need the puka to open it, yeah? Oh, no. We can find it. Not in Austria. Yeah, in some stores. So, this looks like it could be. I love the yellow rays coming out of it and spinning. This looks like it could be a spinning portal. Yeah. That could be. I, I wonder if you went down into the magic portal, would it go down like a slide? Or would you be spinning? Spinning. It's spinning. Oh gosh, that would make me dizzy. I have a question. You, will there be a winner? I, you know the I think they're all fantastic. I'm just 
absolutely blown away. There's been such brilliant ideas. I love the house in the middle. I like the idea that you get to go somewhere nice. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, what type of puka have you got? So we got like, um, what is it? What type of animal do you think? We got like a rabbit face sheep. <gasps> We can, like, he taught us for sheep and I taught us for rabbits. So. That's a really so good one. Um, and are they helpful or are they cheeky and naughty? They're not helpful. They're not helpful. Do they get you in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, they got lost in the house. Oh my gosh. That, yeah. no, so tell me about your magic porcelain. We, um, we just drew, I drew a circle and then um, I drew a small sweater and then I colored like mixed colors. Like so a mixed color, so like it doesn't be the same. And then we made like, like a pond, three ponds, and then we put like a leaf here, and then we put so rocks, good, like, the rocks oh around, and we, like and we said hi, smile, a uh, vibe. Brand shield. That's brilliant. So tell me, um, if I was walking in the woods, would I know this was a magic portal? No. No. So you'd have to, you need a puka with you, do you, to find the magic portal? Yeah. So your puka is an Irish animal. Which Irish animal? A dog. A dog? Yeah. Uh, with the wings. With, oh, a flying dog. That's brilliant. Um, and tell me about your puka. Are they really helpful or are they a bit cheeky now they're going to get you in trouble? Helpful. They're helpful. Oh, that's they're good. They're a little bit cheeky. They're a bit cheeky, yeah. You, you're going to end up in a bit of trouble, aren't you? That's beautiful. Really. I'm trying to make a tree. <laughs> so tell me about these beautiful knotted pieces of grass. Oh, they're, they're pineapples. pineapples. They're pineapples. Yes. They're fantastic.